Hi, and thanks for joining me for our Wednesday lunchtime stand. Really great to have you here. If you have been uh, following this week, you will see that we are in a series on God's provision. And this morning, Rachel spoke to us on the whole subject of testing God's economy. Didn't you just love those stories that she's been sharing from life in Africa and then life as a missionary coming back home? Just so, so encouraging. I want to pick up that little scripture that she used from Malachi 3 and verse 10. And if you've been with me this week, you'll know that I've been doing a word study on some of the words that we find in these scriptures that Rachel has been referencing. So Malachi chapter 3 and verse 10. It says, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house, says the Lord. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. I want to pick up on that little word to test. You see, sometimes we can be really um, almost allergic to that word because we know that elsewhere in scripture, for example, Matthew chapter four and verse seven, when Jesus said, it is written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. And so we think, well, how, how do I match these two things up? In one place, Jesus is saying, don't you dare put the Lord your God to the test. And in Malachi, God is inviting us to test him. What's the difference here? And really the difference is understanding what that little word, which we translate in English the same way to test, actually means. And in Matthew chapter four, when it's talking about and it's in the context of the story of Jesus's temptation by the devil, basically Jesus is saying to the enemy, back off, do not tempt me and do not tempt God. In other words, do not call the character and the nature of God into question through unbelief and accusation. So in other words, Jesus is warning the devil in this context, do not dare tempt me. Do not dare put God's character and nature into question. But in Malachi, the little word to test when God says, test me in this in relation to his economy, he's not inviting us to put his character into question. He's not inviting us to stand in unbelief and accusation to test him. No, actually the word that he's using is to test in the sense of to examine, to really dig deep into, to scrutinize almost is the, the strength of the Hebrew word. And the picture that is being used there is to test in the sense that we use it sometimes in the English language, like we do to prove a metal and the quality of the metal and to bring out pure gold or silver as it might be. And so God is saying there is a treasure here there is depth of understanding that you will only discover if you examine this in detail and give it a go and test it out and find out for yourself that it really does work. In other words, he's inviting you and I to go on an adventure of discovery where we'll only discover the true treasure if we give this a go and really test it out for ourselves. So the strength of the word test me in this here is an invitation. God says, you know, my economy stands whether you do give it a go or don't give it a go. It's one of the laws of God that exist and that stand a bit like the law of graces, whether you choose to come under it or not is your choice. And he's saying with my economy, this law stands, but why not give it a go for yourself? Why not not just listen to Rachel's amazing testimonies or the amazing stories of you know, other heroes of the faith that you have come to really appreciate. But why not put this to the test yourself? Why not in these days give it a go? And in that context, prove that my word is my word stands and my standards are for you as well. I love the fact that, that same word to test or to prove and bring out the gold is what Job uses of himself when he's gone through a really tough time. And he says, Job chapter 23, verse 10, but God knows the way that I take. And when he has tested me, I shall come forth as gold. In other words, the flip side is also true. 
that we can develop the characters and hearts of uh, heart cries of God in our own lives and begin to let his nature and his value system become our value system so that when he in turn tests our hearts, we come out as pure gold. Psalm 66 and verse 10 says, For thou, O God, has proved or tested us. Thou hast tested us as silver is tried. I would love to encourage you this lunchtime to give it a go for yourself. You know, Rachel's story, though amazing and unique to her, is not something that is not available to you. It is something which you and I are invited into, that we too might discover the God of more than enough in this season, who says, give this a go, test it out for yourself. And I love God's economy. As we were reflecting yesterday, when God provides, it's about abundance. And in Malachi chapter 3 and verse 10, it says, test me in this, and I will throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not even be room to store it. In other words, when we test this out, however cautiously, we will find that God's economy works and that he not only provides for us, he not only gives back to us, but he gives us more than we could ever contain. So why not go on that adventure and discover in these days, particularly in these days, when everybody's afraid of supply and provision and whether it's going to work out or not. Let's put God to the test in this one. For he says, test my economy and prove for yourself that it does work. Let's do it with faith-filled expectation and see what amazing miracles God will do in this season. May God richly bless you as you go on this adventure. And let's share the testimonies of what God teaches us in this season. God bless you and enjoy your day.